Scott's a West is a comedic YouTube show known for making video game retrospectives and skits. G4 used to be a TV channel dedicated to mostly video games. Now what happens when you mix these two together? You get a mistake. Scott's a West on G4 first aired on December 17th at 10.30pm and it's just reels of the YouTube episodes. So why do you have such a problem with this? Well, first off, why would I go out of my way to go through all of the trouble of watching Scott the Waz on G4? <laughs> if I just open up YouTube, search up Scott the Waz and watch every episode for free. And second off, it just doesn't take advantage of the fact that it's on a TV network and therefore has a bigger budget. Because when I first heard Scott the Waz is going to be on TV, I ended up thinking, oh, so what they're gonna do is they're gonna take Scott and ask him to do new episodes of Scott the Waz or just new videos in general, just for TV. But when I found out it was just for you once, I was kind of disappointed. Like, the only new thing made specifically for the show is the intro, and the intro is sick. So why not do more of that? Make more original content made exclusively for G4 taking advantage of the higher budget. But whatever, enough of me bitching about the fact that there isn't any new content. How's the actual watching experience? Different. Not necessarily better nor worse, just different. Since G4 doesn't have the license to small indie studios like Nintendo or Sega, it can't use any of the songs from the games in their channels. And since most if not all of the music Scott used during his videos are from video game OSTs, all of the songs in the videos got changed and it's all just generic 8-bit music. And honestly, most of the time the music can be pretty distracting. And if it isn't generic music, it's the actual music from the games. So yeah, they went through all of the effort of changing music, but for some scene, just forgot, I guess. But how could I mention Scott the Watson G4 without mentioning the fact that Scott's on Cecil for the first, third time? And only sometimes. No downside to this. But Tetris was Star Wars, I don't give a fuck. I wouldn't take a sh for anything less than Tetris Worlds. Of the plug and play. What the f Gotcha sketch? Of course being battery powered meant more times than now when I'd want to play one of these things I'd pull it out of storage and go oh fucking shit I left this thing on for a month. In the times that Scott is uncensored it's just kind of worse. Specifically in this line. Because half the reason the joke is funny is because the swear words are censored. And the other time Scott is uncensored it just was kind of unnecessary. In the end Scott was on G4 just felt like a missed opportunity. What could have been a great higher budget adaptation of the series just felt like a worse way to watch Scott's videos that you can only watch. Or free. Do I think it's cool that Scott the Waz has officially been on TV network? Yes. Do I think you could have done more of the concept of Scott the Waz is on TV? Absolutely. Or in other words, this series blows.